Hi guys, I wanted to, I quite often get asked how I incorporate oils into my daily routine and what I do during the day, aside from work. Um, so I, I like to have my shower in the morning, sometimes at night, it all depends, but when I have my shower, I use our protecting shampoo and I have the conditioner here as well. So I use those and get my, um, do my hair, do my body. I have um, doTERRA soap, I have doTERRA body wash, all that kind of stuff. So doTERRA makes it really easy to use clean, toxin-free products that also have oils in them. So they're enhancing your mood, all of that kind of stuff. All the stuff that we talk about that oils do for us. So the other thing that I like to do is I use the face cleaner. This is really nice because it has peppermint in it, so it's really nice to use in the morning, gets you waking up. So today, being CEO Friday and requiring a little bit more self-care than what has been happening lately, I decided to also take a few minutes and do the invigorating scrub. So this has grapefruit and peppermint. Um, so nice. Like my, whoops, my skin felt so amazing afterwards. I had the, this is um, the first time I've tried this one. I had the old version and I loved it, but I love this one even more. So after I do that, I get out of the shower and use the toner. So they have this whole skincare line, so it's already done for me. I don't have to think about it. <clears throat> so I use the toner and then the tightening serum. Sometimes, like today, if I want a little bit of extra self-care, I'll use the brightening gel. I try to use that once a week. And then my favorite, you can tell I'm running low, this is the hydrating cream. Super, super hydrating. So I take a little bit out and just put it on my hand and then I put a drop of Yarrow Palm on the cream and sort of on my hand around where the cream is, I do some Immortelle. And then I mix those all together and I just lightly massage it into my face. The Immortelle for me, I find a little bit strong. And so I like to put it with my moisturizer just to kind of dilute it a bit because it is not a diluted oil. Um, so that is basically my skincare routine. At night I kind of do the same thing, only I do have... Um, I have the anti-aging eye cream, which I put on at night if I remember. I also have this, which is my own little serum that I make up, and it's got all of the oils in it that are really good for skin, as well as I think I did jojoba oil or maybe some evening primrose oil. I just really kind of throw whatever in there that I feel like that I know is good for skin. <clears throat> so aside from that, I use my beautiful deodorant. And before I had that, I used my balance deodorant. You guys, these are so amazing. If you have not smelled them, if you've smelled balance or you've smelled beautiful, just imagine putting a drop of that on your deodorant. It's a nice stick. Mm. And I find that this deodorant works really, really well. So what I do is I just do one swipe. I don't have to, you know, do, 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 do like I'm painting the wall, right? <laughs> You don't want to paint the wall with our deodorant. So I do that. Sometimes I'll even put a drop of balance on top of my balance deodorant and then put that on. Um, lately, I have been doing the Clary Calm because I've been feeling extra emotional, extra hormonal, extra, I don't know. <laughs> so instead of using this... Um, as a women's monthly blend and using it once a month or for one week out of the month I have been using this every day just feeling like I need a little bit of extra support 
And then my day always includes balance. So I take a drop and I put it in on the bottom of my feet and I rub it in. Whoops. I also have unscented body lotion. You guys, this stuff is amazing. If you have not tried it, I highly suggest you get some. You can add whatever scent you want to it. So if one day you're feeling like you need balance, great. If one day you're feeling like you need citrus bliss, you can do that too. So I put some of that in my hand and I put another drop of balance in that and I use that as my lotion for my legs in the morning. Um, the other thing that I've been doing lately because of the extra emotions and everything else that's been going on is I take the balance and I put a drop on my chest sort of right over my heart and I just give that a massage and just smell it in and smell it in. Mm. <laughs> um, so today I felt again like I needed a little extra boost so it's just really hard to do one-handed and for some reason I can't turn my phone around. So anyway I mixed balance with serenity. Now Serenity actually wasn't in my bathroom and I had to go to the kitchen to get it but it was worth it because I knew that I needed it. So I did those two over my heart, inhaled it from my hand just to get the extra scent and because I was craving a little bit of extra calming and whatever today, I went to the other bathroom and grabbed the baby lotion. Now, you're probably wondering why do I have baby lotion? Because I don't have a baby. But this stuff is not just for babies. This is such a nice light, um, it's called nourishing lotion for delicate baby skin. It has lavender and Roman chamomile, which <sighs> I never would have thought of putting the two together, but both are very, very calming. And in this lotion, it literally smells like baby, right? It's like super, super light, whereas the other one is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but it's like super light, doesn't, um, doesn't leave you feeling greasy. Mm. And it smells like baby, right? It's like baby powder but not baby powder does it make sense um so yeah so I grabbed some of this and added serenity and balance to that and then use that for my upper body and after whether it was the oils whether it was the taking time for myself and not doing all the things that I should be doing but doing the things that I wanted to be doing um, whether that was, con I, I know it contributed to my mood. Um, I know the oils contributed to my mood. Is it just one or the other? Probably not. It's probably a mixture of everything. But I felt so calm. The only way to, to describe it. Um, yeah, so then I did after I cleaned my bathroom, I needed to vacuum. So I got holiday cheer, or sorry, yeah, the holiday cheer blend, holiday joy and cheer. And I put a drop of each in my vacuum. And then I vacuumed my bathroom, my bedroom, my bed because the sheets were in the wash. And yeah, so ordinary, um, the other thing about my bathroom routine that I didn't mention because I didn't do it today because my hair was already done from my hairdresser. So usually what I do um, in with all of that getting ready for the day is I put the root to tip serum in and kind of brush that through, get it all through my hair and then use the healthy hold glaze. And I really resisted this product for a long time because I thought it was gonna be like gel and it was gonna make my hair sticky and hard. I, it isn't, it's very, very light, very liquidy. So you have to be careful when you put it out because I was expecting like a blob of gel, but I got quite a bit <laughs> because it's very liquidy. 
Um, yeah, and so I kind of put that throughout my hair and let my hair air dry. If I am going to be straightening or blow drying my hair, then I have this DIY heat spray. Um, another thing that I quite often like to use is the doTERRA Beautiful um, Body Mist. It's hydrating and it doesn't, it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky or greasy. It, it is an oil, but it soaks in super quickly. And I know one lady that um, doesn't like lotion and she loved that. So yeah, um, aside from that, the only other thing really that I can think of is just the no brainer on guard toothpaste. So I brush my teeth with that and then floss, um, swish with the on guard mouthwash. And of course we have the on guard um, foaming hand soap. So I think, I think that's it really for my bathroom and sort of for my daily routine. So I hope that helps some of you to realize just how easy it is. You don't need to do all of those steps if I'm in a hurry. Sometimes like today I didn't wash my hair. Um, so sometimes I will just have my shower, get out, especially this time of year, I always do lotion. Sometimes I don't do all of those facial cleaning steps. I'll just do the cleanser, the toner, and then the moisturizer. And so I always cleanse my face. I always use the toner. Okay, 95% of the time. Um, and the hydrating cream, because at this time of year, my face gets super itchy if I don't. And I always use balance every single day. Um, oh, and deodorant. So if you only have a few minutes, guys, like you can do a lot for your body in a few minutes with products that are ready to go and that reduce your toxic load. Because the more that you can reduce your toxic load, the better your liver is because the liver is designed to get rid of all the toxins in our body. And so yeah, like all of those, I'm not even going to go into all the problems with toxins and stuff like that. You guys can Google it and there's all sorts of information out there. If you want more information, I can send you more information. But basically, everybody needs to reduce their toxic load. And some things we just can't, right? Like all of our electronics come with uh, like a flame retardant chemical on them, right? So what are we just not going to buy electronics? No. Um, right? Carpet, all that sorts of stuff. There's some stuff we can't get away from. Furniture, right? All that. But the things that we can control, we need to do our best. But, I mean, that being said, sometimes people, like especially my husband, um, his stuff is not so toxin friendly. I'm trying to get him, but... It's very hard to teach that old dog new tricks. <laughs> I've been trying and I'm slowly getting there. Um, but yeah, the, the best thing you can do for your self care guys is to reduce the toxins. And there's so, they say that the average women, woman puts um, 3000 chemicals on her body before she even leaves the house in the morning through our skincare, our hair care, our makeup, all of that kind of stuff. So your body is going to thank you if you can reduce even some of that. And if it just means you just start with shampoo and conditioner, that's all you do. If it means you just start with your face care and at least give your face a good foundation before putting your makeup on, right? Like there's so many baby steps that we can do and every journey starts with a single step. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I love questions. Okay, have a great day.